Hi there. Hope you're doing well. It's Nicole with Creating with Chalk. Just going to do a quick little project here. This is with the Vintage Typewriter. Uh, that was Club Couture of the Month for this past month. So, I have already prepped my board with the finishing wax. And now I'm just fuzzing my cloth. Sorry. I'm fuzzing my transfer with the fuzz cloth. Stick it down. I couldn't wait for this transfer to come. I really, really like it. I have to say it's probably my favorite so far. So I want to use purple today. Um, Regal, uh, yeah. So this is going to account for the chalk madness, but I also wanted to just pop in and do something quick. Uh, and I'm probably going to mix another transfer with this. Um, just not sure which one just yet. So, um, waiting to hear from my chalk and sisters on my chalk team to find it if we made it to the next round. And we're hoping that we have. Which then, because I live on the east of Canada, and this is going east versus west in Canada, the US, so designers were split into two according to which province or which state that you lived in, and then they drew everybody's names onto teams. So we started out with 32. I think we started out with 32 people on our team and we still have 15 which is amazing because these gals have been sticking it out all of us uh for the last this is we just finished week four so we're all excited so usually you do the um paste and pull method but because i got it all done in one and i'm not mixing any other colors i just was able to do it this way so paste and pull would be to put your paste down and pull especially if you're using other colors in here you don't want the chalk paste to actually dry in the screen and when it does that it is a mess believe me i've done it not once or twice i've done it a few times so yeah. Wasn't very smart. I got a little bit. This is what I was trying to prevent was bleeding. But I'm hoping that I can clean this up a little bit. So you definitely wax, especially when it's not a chalk couture uh, back. This here, I just, I don't know, I think I got it at Walmart. You need to fuzz and you need to wax your surface. And if you do that, it really does help with bleeding. So I just took Q-tip as you see me with a little bit of this 
just uh, put it in some distilled water. Now I'll probably put a little embellishment of some sort down in this corner just to cover it up. Just putting some heat, put the heat tool just to dry the chalk paste. When you lay these down, sticking them really good to the board is key. If not, sometimes you get bleeding and that might have very well happened down here in the corner. But you can cover things up. Don't forget that. Mix this up because it's starting to separate and you can see the colors separating. A little stir and then you're good to go. Hope you're doing well on this fine day. It's been beautiful here where we live. Mind you, my day was, didn't stop very good. I me, was meaning to go to bed last night before 11 p.m. Guess who was still up at quarter after one, almost 1.30? Me. I had to be up at quarter after five and on the road for... Uh, 5 30 and I meant to set my alarm and I'm like that dog that's chasing after the squirrel in the park and uh, forgot to set my alarm and yeah I woke up and it was light out I was not happy so I had to fly myself out of bed and dressed um, thank God I had to wear a mask when I went to work because I didn't even brush my hair I don't think I even brushed my hair this morning. I didn't get a chance to brush my teeth because I had to be at somebody's house before seven o'clock and I did not have the time. Especially with waking up at 6.03 and then out the door at 10 after to be at this person's place. So yeah, it was quite a, a bit of a rushed morning. It was good though. I got my work done. So I think I'm going to leave this one here like it is for now. This one here we can actually put on a wall because I don't want it. I remembered this time to make sure that my board was the right way. So that one there I've got, I'll add uh, another bit to this piece because I want this one to count for my truck madness, but I am going to make something definitely for that corner. I don't know if I have another uh, transfer that I could use that would cover this up. I probably do. 
just a small little, even if I had a, a red heart there, that would work. I do believe. I was kind of hoping that this transfer actually was going, or this board went this way because I had a neat idea about putting the typewriter on there and using this slot here and putting some paper on the back so you had a place to, to do your notes, like for a grocery list or whatever, but it didn't work that way. And you kind of need it to be there because it's on that piece that's holding it together. I don't know if you would get something through this and it would split the other side. So with that being said, I just wanted to show you a quick little project that I just did in a matter of minutes. Um, this is kind of my escape right now with everything that's going on with the world. Just remember, I think that it still is okay for us to be still at times. I know that uh, what's going on out in the big world is um, not what everybody likes, but hey, it is what it is. So I have a, an Aiden board here and I also have a Sylvie board. The Sylvie board is almost like this. Uh, but the frame is just not as wide and these are reusable over and over again. This is probably, oh God, I don't even know how many times I've used this one, but it's easy. The chalk paste does come off quite easy as long as it's wet. If you, and I'm just using one of our little spatulas. I'm waiting for my uh, paste scraper to come, which it's en route. I think everything should be here on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'm excited about that, but this year in the meantime, it will work just as well. And you'll notice on one, hopefully this one here will show a little bit of ghosting so I could show you what that is and show you how to get rid of it. Mind you, I don't have running water down here in the basement. So, and I think my board eraser is upstairs. I take my stencils up every evening and have them washed. And the board eraser is fantastic for that. Yes, it is ghosting. Now, let me, I can see the home still on there. It's just, you can tell where the chalk paste was on this. That's what I'm just trying to show. And in order to get rid of that, simple little thing that you need to do. And that's just to scrape it with the uh, board eraser. So I can see dog. home that was written there it might show up a little bit better once this is dried but very easy to get rid of with the board eraser and that's the wonderful thing about the chalk couture that the surfaces are reusable for the most part I've seen some of the designers just uh, reusing some of the smaller like the box frame and just getting the paste off of it and then using the board eraser on for a quick minute and it lifts everything up. Let me see if I can dry this a little faster. Yeah, so you can definitely see where I've had used this board several times. So it, it does need to go upstairs and needs to be scrubbed with the board eraser for sure. But very easy to get rid of. And it's one of the wonderful things about Chalk Couture. So I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that you have a great day.